At T minus 30 minutes, the pad was cleared. Now there is just a spacecraft, launch vehicle, and two men on top of it. All systems are good at this time. The launch control at the Cape. T minus 10 minutes and counting. Six minutes before launch. The spacecraft test conductor signed off to the spacecraft with these final words. Okay, Jim, have a good flight. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. At 10.16 Eastern Standard Time, Gemini 4 was on its way. We have a roll program initiated. I know. Flight did not have started. And in sync. And in sync. Right. Roll right. program right. completed. Right. Exhibit report. And the pitch program has been initiated. Right. Right. Mark 50 seconds and we're go. Guidance reports that go. The flight trajectory looks very, very close to right on the nominal value. That's good. Flight data pretty noise, but we're okay. Flight photo, good on Mach 3, a little high. Let yeah, me give it reports. Gemini 4 is go for staging, which will occur in a very few seconds. Just go. We have staging, and it's been confirmed here on the ground. This looks good. Gemini 4 entered orbit with an insertion velocity of 25,745 feet per second, within 11 feet per second of planned velocity. The apogee of the first orbit was 177.6 statute miles. The perigee, 100.8 statute miles. Command pilot McDivitt started to work at once, attempting to fly an airplane formation with the second stage of the launch vehicle. The full resources of NASA in Houston were on hand to support Gemini 4. From a new three-story building, flight controllers at the Manned Spacecraft Center assumed direct control of the mission for the first time in the space program. The mission director now checked the status of a possible rendezvous. Ask him about his track with the launch vehicle. Uh, I have it set at this time. It's directly below me, about uh, four or five feet. I'm going to start down here. Everything seemed favorable at that time. But as the first orbit progressed, the second stage of the launch vehicle drew away. Roger, Glavis. Uh, we still have the booster. We're out quite a ways from it now. Uh, it's taken a little more fuel than we had anticipated. To really make a major effort to close this last thing or to save the fuel? The answer was almost immediate from the mission director. You might tell him, uh, as far as we're concerned, we want to save the fuel. We're concerned about the light time when we are matching that booster. Okay. And that was it. Okay. The second stage of the launch vehicle went on to become simply Space Object 1391. It would burn up over the Mid-Atlantic two days later. Yeah, my phone. Okay, we're giving a go for your EVA at this time. Okay. The crew started their checklist for EVA, but Command Pilot McDivitt decided not to rush things. He elected to go for EVA on the third revolution. Most of the world waited 100 miles below. The crew had completed final preparations. The cabin was depressurized and the hatch open. Coming up on Hawaii, McDivitt reported that he was satisfied and ready to begin EVA. You ready to have him get out? Roger, flight, we're go. He's got some uh, nice elevated rates, which we expected, and uh, he's, he's really speeded it up, but he looks great. Let's go. Okay. Hawaii, Houston flight. Houston flight, Hawaii, Capcom, go. Tell him we're ready to have him get out when he is. Germany, 4, Hawaii, Capcom. We just had word from Houston. We're ready to have you get out whenever you're ready. Okay, we've got our go now, is that right? Affirmative. Okay, we're still doing a little work right here. Roger, understand. Get his status, Hawaii. Gemini 4, Hawaii, Cap, Dom. Okay, I'm separating from the spacecraft. Okay, separating from the spacecraft this time, Hawaii. Okay, my feet are up. Okay, it's clear. I think I'm dragging a little bit, so I don't want to fire the gun yet. Yeah, okay, I'm out. Okay, get out. Get close to me.
Good duck, good little roll one, took it right out. Am I in your gear, Jimbo? Well, you're not. I'm afraid of you. Don't slow it, I'll come over to you. Yep, there's your glove, well, we just got to go. All right. Okay, I rolled out, and I'm rolling to the right now. Under my own influence. There goes a... Looks like a thermal glove, Jim. It is, yes. All right. Now, I've come about the space draft. I'm coming back down now. I'm under my own control. Okay, I'm coming over. You look beautiful. I feel like a million dollars. Come on, Doctor. Yeah. The gun, the gun works real good, Jim. Let me get over here where I can Okay, I'm right by the front antenna now. Okay. Let me, let me get some letters for you, then. I ought to get some tremendous pictures of you. Let me try again with the hospital. Okay, I think I've exhausted my... Okay. ...air now. Stay right there. I have very good control with it. I just needed more air. Okay, stand by. Let me take a couple pictures, folks. All right. Yeah, what you think? That's right. That's all. It's very easy to maneuver with the gun. The only problem I have is I haven't got enough fuel. I've exhausted the fuel now, but I was able to maneuver myself out front of the spacecraft back. I maneuvered right up back on the back of the adapter. Just about Jim came back into his view. This is the greatest experience. I've, it's just tremendous. Right now, I'm standing on my head, and I'm looking right down. It looks like we're coming up on the coast of California. If I go on a slow rotation to the right. There is absolutely no disorientation associated with it. One thing about it, fellas, when it gets out there and starts wiggling around, it sure makes the spacecraft stop for control. Okay, I'm drifting down underneath the spacecraft. There's no difficulty with the uh, big contact in the spacecraft. It's all very soft. Particularly as long as you move nice and slow. I feel very thankful to have the experience of doing this. I'll bring myself in and put myself out into your future. Are you taking pictures? Okay, do you want me to maneuver for you now, Ed? No, I think you're doing fine. What I'd like to do is get all the way out here and get a picture of the whole space guard. I don't seem to be doing that. Yeah, I noticed that. You can't seem to get far enough away. No. Texas, we made your air to ground. California, go local. I'm coming back down on the spacecraft. Listen, it's all the difference in the world with this gun. When that gun was working, I was maneuvering all around. Just for your information, Ed, we're only down to 48% on our O2. Okay. He's got uh, open pressure in about 830, so stay right up there. Let me get a picture. Can you see the camera here? Uh, yeah. No, not now. I'm out of it. Uh, you got about five minutes. Yeah, I'll let myself go out now. 24, Houston. You know, Ed, the thing about the reference you were talking about looks like it's too late. Right. Hey, you don't even need one. 24, Houston, Capcom. Yeah, this is Jim. Uh, what? Got any message for us? The flight director says get back in. Okay.